Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with a new building series, which I'm very excited about. It is Let's uh, Build a Night Club in The Sims 4. Yay! Uh, so I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for the first build series, and I thought a community lot would be fun. And I know uh, there are a couple of people on Twitter who mentioned actually in comments as well on youtube they mentioned that they would love to see a nightclub in the sims 4 so i thought that was a great old idea and i nearly um actually downloaded a house from the gallery to actually renovate into a nightclub like an old victorian one but in the end i thought we would just build the first one from scratch and then later on maybe we can do a let's renovate uh, series because um, we've still got the let's renovate a share house series running at the moment too so we've got two at once uh, so this should be a bit of fun, but basically the general idea for this is that it is in Willow Creek. Uh, we bulldozed the other nightclub that was here. We just got rid of that. And um, this one is going to have a, I guess, a Parisian theme to it, I think. Um, or an old English slash Parisian theme. And I'm excited for that because I want a lot of plush furniture, but I also want it to be very sexy and very kind of dark. So a lot of black and uh, and and maybe some hints of brighter colors here and there. But that's basically the look and feel we're going to go for. So it's going to be a fusion between ultra modern and like really um, old, nice French furniture, that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, but Basically, I'm at the moment, I'm about to create on the second floor a, I guess, a roof feature. I was just going to do a balcony that looked down to the lower floor. But in the end, I thought if we use this glass fencing and kind of lay it over itself, it would create a pretty cool uh, ceiling feature from when you're looking up from the lower floor. So that's what we're doing there. And I don't know, I think it looks interesting once we put some lights into it and we go into live mode and actually look up through it. I think it'll be kind of cool. So that's definitely a very modern or contemporary element to the place that's going to be there uh, amongst the other old furniture. So the idea is, I guess, this might have been an older building aside the other ones that are next to it uh, that's been renovated into this plush club uh, for your sims to go to. So I guess it'll be the place around town to be, uh, at least for my sims and my let's play. Uh, that's what's going to happen. So a lot of glass uh, at the front of it. There's a lot of old windows. And then towards the back of it, there's like big modern windows that we put in towards the end. So it'll be pretty good. And uh, we're just moving the stairs over a little bit here. Uh, that's going to go upstairs. I think downstairs we'll have the more bar area with tables. And then actually, no, downstairs we'll have like a D floor and a bar. And then upstairs we'll do more loungy perhaps areas with some uh with another bar or something like that um I think that would be the more private area and then those two um rooms at the very back there toilets and because we don't actually have the public toilet cubicles in the sims 4 yet I I'm definitely sure they'll add it very soon, uh, but because we don't have those yet, we have to make little rooms to put the toilets into. Hopefully we won't have to change those up too much uh, because, uh, I don't know, I'm still getting used to all the Sims 4 controls. One of the things I'm really confused about is when you're on a second level, to put down floor tiles, you can't just place them. You have to place this big floor, I think. I don't know if you guys can tell me how else to do it. I haven't actually researched building that much yet. This is only like the second house I've built from scratch. So uh, it's just, I just get confused with a few little things. So you'll notice me having a lot of derpy moments throughout this where I'm just in struggle town because the controls don't really make sense to me quite yet. Because um, it's quite different. They've really changed it a lot uh, compared to The Sims 3 and The Sims 2. So... This is going to take a little while to get used to. So then we actually make another level, a third level, but there's actually not going to be anything on the third level as such. Uh, it's more just to, again, repeat that glass fencing ceiling uh, decorative aspect of the build. And so you can actually see up to another one. So that's why we've added that in. And I also thought it looked nice with the roofing. Maybe we could put a secret storage room up the top and maybe a, a, a woohoo bedroom or something like that. Um, but that might be that might be a little bit too uh, dark and sultry, actually. Um, but still, pretty cool club. 
There's a place in Melbourne that's pretty cool that's called Madame Brussels uh, in the CBD and it's like it used to be a brothel I believe and then they changed it into a like a a bar loungy place and it's pretty pretty cool um, but it has like a gardeny feel on the inside. I think I've mentioned this in a build before maybe, but it's like got all the AstroTurf indoors and garden furniture indoors and they sell iced teas and stuff like that. Uh, so I guess in a way I'm using that as a bit of inspiration for this in terms of the sexy feel about it. But then again, this is going to be very different because we're not bringing outdoor furniture indoors. Uh, that can be for another build. Um, but yeah, this should be a fun series. Uh, I love building with you guys. I love getting all of your feedback. I learn so much from the comments. I really do. So thank you for leaving them. And uh, I do get a lot of help from them. Also, the really nice thing about uh, YouTube for me is that even though, of course, you're going to get some negative comments or negativity, the majority of the comments from you guys are really, really supportive and really, really nice and just you guys are really happy to share your knowledge and so thank you so much for that I I don't know if I say that enough so thank you <laughs> uh, for the roofing here we've just used a hipped roof to kind of put it towards uh, the third floor so it frames it nicely I feel like when you do do the roofing in the sims 4 once you get the roofing borders happening it actually really uh, transforms the building a lot so uh, we're just about to put that in so you just put a border around it and that just finishes it off makes it look pretty and I really wanted the exterior to be all black uh, like really black so um, it's a shame a lot of the fencing options and roofing options they they do have a brownie tinge to them I, I feel like they're not entirely black uh, at the moment it looks pretty good pretty black but I'm not sure if it's the light in the world that's making it go a bit brown uh, but that's a little bit frustrating. Also, this is pretty cool. It automatically does the corners for you with these stones without you having to rotate them but or click different wall pieces. Except the only thing is when you want to put them in places uh, that doesn't automatically go into, you actually can't. So for the corners, that back corner on the balcony, I wasn't able to put the stone uh, detailing there, which I found pretty annoying. So a lot of these things in The Sims 4 that's meant to make it a lot easier for users um, to build with, it's actually making it a little bit harder as well for you or restricting you a lot uh, because sometimes you just want to do it yourself. And for me, <laughs> that's how I like to that's how I like to build. Uh, another thing is here the freezers. This is really nice, um, really easy to put in that detailing. Except here again, because it's all automatic, uh, it it wouldn't wrap to the other side unless I put in a separate uh, unless I got rid of the balcony entirely so that was a bit annoying uh, again the autumn auto how do you say it? automatic I don't know the automatic aspect of the game that was a very long way of saying that again this pillar I can't put those stone detailings down on it uh, it wouldn't do that automatically so I put a freeze around it wrapped around it uh, to kind of separate it from the level above and having a bit of trouble with the freezers uh, crossing inside the house as well. That was a bit of a pain. Uh, so again, just learning how to use the Sims 4 building. I guess uh, there's a lot of things I still don't understand yet. A lot of these automatic things I'm sure uh, I'll get used to. And you can see there's just like arrows everywhere. And I'm like, I just want to put down the flooring by myself. I don't understand. Like, on the second level, you seem to have to put down a whole square of flooring, but then if you want to delete individual tiles, you can't uh, with a sledgehammer and you can't, you know, control click either. So if any of you guys can tell me how to do that, that would be really, really good because I'm really confused <laughs> and I'm pretty frustrated. But yeah, it's taking place now. It's looking, uh, I think it's looking definitely like a nightclub. I would definitely go here. Uh, once we put the windows in, I don't like places without windows. Um, I don't like that at all. But once we get some windows happening, it's going all right. And I'm excited to furnish it. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot of furnishing to be done. It's quite a big space. So just excited to get really creative with it and uh, have fun with you guys. We also put in a tall glass fence at the front because if you're going to have a lot of Sims having a good time uh, drinking their juice... 
because <laughs> Sims do drink juice from the bar, uh, you don't want them to get too excited and topple off the balcony. So we use high fences there, which is common at nightclubs. Uh, you don't see many balconies with shorter fences, that's for sure. And uh, also this outdoors part is going to be an outside, I think I want to make it into an outside dance floor. So it's a pretty big club. Uh, or we could actually make this into a lounge area. Or even, I mean, we could get rid of the roof I had and just have those pillars as kind of a decorative element for a garden or something like that. Um, maybe behind the nightclub there could be, I don't know, a, a chill out spot for during the day. Maybe it's, that's the non-nightclub part of it or something like that. But at the moment, we're just making it into another D floor and it's kind of separated from the rest of the building. Uh, so you can wander out. Um, because most nightclubs, there aren't uh, many outdoor areas to chill out at. At least in Melbourne, there isn't. Uh, usually it's got a very small deck, which is usually a smoker's deck or something like that. So it's very cramped and... Uh, for someone who doesn't smoke, such as myself, it's it's a bit smelly out there. So you want to get some fresh air, but you can't really. <laughs> uh, so I thought for this club, it'd be nice to have a nice big outdoor area, uh, plenty of room to socialize and not uh, be claustrophobic or anything like that. So that's, that's what we're doing here. Uh, pretty happy with the fencing and the freezers, I really love the option of having freezers in the game. And I love the fact we have those extra roof detailings or borders. Uh, that's really nice, really easy to use. And uh, here we are about to put some windows in. So we do mix old and new. Uh, we go with some arched windows. Again, I couldn't get black ones. They're actually a brown color. Very frustrating. Uh, or at least I think they're brown. They, they come across as looking brown in the game if they're meant to be black. And we also merge them with some of the taller, more modern windows, which I think a lot of players probably wouldn't mix them. Uh, but I, I think they look okay in this instance. You know, we have the glass fence above um, juxtaposed against the the more decorative and flourished freezers. So then those two things tie in with, with the more modern and old window aspects. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, these windows are really cute that are going on the upper floor. Not sure if we'll put anything up there, uh, but we'll see. Also, the roof decor items that make it look industrial, have that industrial feel. Uh, really, really stoked there in the game. They look awesome. And um, definitely make this look like a community lot. Hiding some bigger windows down the side there. And not sure if we'll keep them all, but they're there for now. And putting in some archways to go onto this outside deck. Uh, I think they'll look pretty cool. Maybe we can drape some curtains over them or something like that. We're also about to put in a big club sign out the front, which took me a little while to figure out where it is, uh, but we do find it in the end. So that's good. And it's a neon blue light, which I thought was very nice. I would have preferred neon pink, but that wasn't an option, but neon blue, I think we'll be pretty happy with. So here we are scrolling throughout it all, searching desperately for where it could be. And it's in the outdoor section, I found it. And under miscellaneous or, or outdoor decor, it's in a bit of a weird spot, I think. Um, but we do get there in the end. Yeah, so under decorations. Uh, I, found the, I found some other neon signs that were really small. And once we scaled them up really big, I kind of put them around the building to make it look uh, like metalwork, uh, how it was kind of half built. You can see them being put in here. So I thought that was just kind of a nice detail to make it look a bit more industrial. Um, just some extra detail. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.